call it criminal liability because of the uh, excessive uh, cyber terrorism that's going on. You, know, you, well, you, can be, you can be held responsible for some of the shit. That, I mean, we're not just talking about internet butthurt. And you know that, don't you? I I have I mean you've tried reporting the forum for for various criminal actions. No, um, I haven't. I haven't. I've tried to get you shut down a couple of times. I've never bothered, you know, with your host. I, I've never bothered to fuck with the FBI because I know it's a waste of time. I know that they're not going to do anything. I, I have heard you. You've recorded yourself calling the FBI about the forum. Well, yeah, a long time ago. I haven't in a long time because now I know what's going on. But the real only reason you have not been prosecuted is because for, for the First Amendment violations. You know, there are, there are limits to the First Amendment and limits to free use. For instance, none of my photos are copyright, but as the uh, subject of the photo, I have personality rights that are being infringed on. You understand? Um, maybe in like California, but in with federal copyright, it's very much who, who takes the photo. If someone takes the photo, they are the the manufacturer. Complaint, and the, the complaint. The complaint is uh, is uh, invasion of privacy by misappropriation. You're misappropriating my image. I don't need to have it copyrighted. Well, I, I've never heard of that that complaint. Well, you better look it up because that's the way it works. You're 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 thinking that just be, you know that that whoever took the picture owns the image. Yes. But the the person who took the picture with my image in it, like that picture that Cox news that they use of me on the corner with the horn busking. Anything that you guys find uh, in the public domain like that of photographers that took pictures of me, I signed releases. I signed no release with Kiwi Farms to use that stuff. Do you see how that works? Almost, I would say almost everything on the forum, especially pertaining to you in particular, is pretty solidly covered by fair use. No, it's not. There is no fair use for you to take somebody's image without their permission and use it for profit. There's nothing you can do to those images that yes, will you make can. fair use without my authorization for you to use it. That's good. Well, number one, better, why, don't you, why don't you get, why don't you start, get your lawyer, get your lawyer in here because this is the way it is. I do not need to own the copyrights to those images that are invading my privacy by misappropriation. You don't have to have You the better copyright. check with your lawyer. Don't argue with me about this with your suppositions. I'm just telling you, because there's a lot of people in the forum I'm who have to... You, bye, Josh. Have a nice day. Oh, I'm hold on. Gonna, I, I'm not going to just... argue with somebody who doesn't know what he's talking about. It's okay, just I'm not going to argue with you about that then. I'll accept that at face value. You're right. I'm not a lawyer. Um... Was I mean? Was there something else that just uh, in general? I don't oh, know what's been. Oh, I'm I'm just proposing to you to give me control of my forum with some moderator tools. That's all. That's all I want from you is control of my forum. Okay. Well, well, Yawning Sneasel's gone, so there's a position open. Yawning we, we can... Sneasel. Yeah. Well, no, Yawning Sneasel is back as Daisy May. How do you know that? I, I don't know, know that. that. I know that it's Daisy May is what Yawning Sneasel. Look at what he's bringing back. He, he Daisy May is not a member of AMB. Right now, Sneasel and an extra douche sauce, the guy with the with the shitty Russian accent, they are grooming the fuck out of Dave. Putting Who's him Dave? Out Dave Price, Dee Dee. The one, that, the one that thinks he's the grandmother to like three little swamp monsters. I don't know anything about this. See, I've been out of touch for the last year with oh, what's I going on with you. Oh, and I like to... This is not me. You know, okay. Last year, they swatted me. The year before, they got me run out of the hut and thrown on the gem show. These are, these are significant 
bits of financial harm that connect to your company. You know, just because, oh. you know, LawCow LLC is going to be held liable. You personally may not be held liable for any of this, but your company will be. And they I'm can... telling you, I'm telling you, just give me control of my forum and I don't give a fuck what goes on in the rest of the site. Daisy says that Jonathan, was it Jonathan Ross was the one who swatted you? I have no idea who the fuck swatted me. Cops couldn't figure it out because they don't have a computer forensics team. Well, how can you link that back to the forum then if you don't know who did it? Daisy says that it was that it was someone named Ross who you were friends with. Don't try to argue with me right now, Josh. I'm just saying what I'm trying to catch don't up on what's happened the last Josh. year. Josh, don't try to argue with me about any of this. Uh, you want to get caught up? That's what's going on. Anything you know about it is just jive. You've been fed. Well, the jive I've been fed is that you were friends with someone named Ross, and I'm asking you I'm who Ross is. Buddy, I've never met. Okay, well, who, who, what? Ross, <laughs> Tell me. Ross, I have no idea who this Ross is. Uh, you know, people come and go from my life so so quickly. Um, you know that I mean, there's just I got a never-ending stream of people trying to troll me. I'm just saying, give me control of my fucking forum, and I don't give a shit. Let them troll me. Um, who is uh, D? You mentioned D, and I don't know anything about David them. Price, David Price of Aiken, South Carolina. There's a thread on him in my sub forum. They got pictures of this fucker pretending to be grandma to three little inbred swamp babies. Um, and he's just totally whacked. I, I think what it is is the dude has a wealthy father that uh, put him and his other retarded offspring up. Uh, in a house in Aiken, South Carolina. And Dave has been trying to get hooked up for hormones uh, for uh, like 40 years almost. And he hasn't been able to because he doesn't qualify. He's too crazy. And, and uh, so he rages about that all the time. And he rages about uh, true transsexuals and how how everybody else that's not getting their shit cut up is, is a fake. And here I am. They cut on my shit when I, I was born hermaphroditic, and they turned me into a dysfunctional male. You know, so, how did they, and, how did they do that? Huh? How did they do that? Doctor mistook my clitoris for a penis and called me male. And then my pediatrician, thinking he was dealing with a male called my my ovaries testicles and dropped them into my into my into the turn turned my vagina the inside back out everted the vagina and dropped my dropped my ovaries down into it so that when they developed they developed into improperly working testicles because they weren't supposed to be testicles in the first place. So do you have like this typical shit they do to intersex people. They don't like the way your junk looks and then they fuck it up. I mean, did it like result in physical problems? Oh yeah. Why do you, where do you think that cough is from? That ain't fucking COPD. I have right. I have some you know, they fucked up my urogenital system. They fucked up my you know my my uh euro the the the, the genital you know the gen, the endocrine system. Well all my nerves are in the wrong place. My my brain is looking for a vagina down there and can't find it. So I had all sorts of behavioral health issues that are textbook to the hormone imbalances and being forced into an unnatural gender role. So uh, to clarify I, for people who may not know, you do have like a chronic cough and people on the forum speculate that that's because you smoke a lot of weed, but you're saying that the cough is due to uh, hormonal cough, issues. The cough is, it's called reactive airway syndrome where that cough is entirely from uh, my uh, trachea up and, and, you know, where it splits to go to the different lungs. What's mm -hmm. happening is particulates in the air will cause histamine reactions, which gets your sinuses clogged up and flowing. Then it, 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 it rolls down your throat 
in, in, to that spot, which is where your lungs say, oh, no, you're not coming in here. And it coughs it up. That's what's going on there. Okay. I, I showed a picture of Deep Price uh, on the on the stream, and chat chat had a pretty visceral reaction uh, to the picture. So I would like to know more about what the, the feud is. Is there like an ongoing feud between you two that has developed in the last year? Well, I don't feud with anybody. What it is, is a, it's a vendetta that he's been on since December of 2018. Mm -hmm. And what happened, you know, there are a few people that do not have um, uh, at least a PhD after their name that know as much about the science of sex and gender, the current science of sex and gender, okay? Than me, mm -hmm. they're very few. And because of that, I have a whole lot of respect in the LGBT community for what I can bring to the table when people are talking shit about us. So, you know, truth bomb the fuck out of people with all their myths and crap about sex and gender. I'm a male, but I'm a woman. Can you dig that? Sure. And you, you, your your expression you like to go to is that you are entirely female except for your penis specifically. Right. Yeah. Right. My my penis is male. I don't deny that. Transsexuals deny it. I mean, didn't you? I mean, you just said that. Uh, just to, to clarify, you said that the doctors misidentified uh, your clitoris. Oh, it's as very a, very as a common. If you look it up and how they determine sex at birth, there's a, a chart. It's a size chart. If it's over a certain length, it's a boy. And if it's under a certain length, it's a girl. And what a parent, I'm just guessing because all the medical evidence, all the medical records are gone. I'm guessing what happened was that he picked me up, looked at me, and my clitoris was penis size. So he put me down as male. So here, so, two years. Just two uh, years to clear. Later, no, go on. Sorry. Two years later, my pediatrician's examining me, and he finds out that the, my testicles have not descended yet. So he wrote an order for what they called a double hernia, a, a double inguinal hernia repair, which in reality was dropping my fucking testicles through what was gonna be my vagina when I hit puberty into a scrotum, where they uh, developed a couple, four or five degrees cooler than they would have if they were ovaries. Are you following? Yeah, so like the, the gender theory now is that an, an infant when they're born still hasn't quite settled as male or female yet, right? Pretty much exactly that. The, 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 the reproductive system is still developing and it will continue to develop. Uh, and I guess somewhere in the first couple of years, if it's going to be a boy, the testicles descend. And mm -hmm. they, if the testicles don't descend, they like to take them and do it for them. And what, what's happened is that they fuck up a lot, all the hermaphrodites and pseudo hermaphrodites by doing that. And we're not that rare. We're talking about, you know, we're about, we're about as common, uh, we're about as rare as redheads. You know, and, and I don't know about hermaphrodit hermaphroditism, but like there's 38, what, what we're calling now, internet body, intersex body variations that mm -hmm. they used to call uh, uh, disorders of sexual development. While the intersex people are saying, hey, wait a minute, there's nothing wrong with us. This is just the way we're born. So they wanted to, you know, depathologize that. And they made it nicer to uh, um, differences of sexual development. And that still wasn't good enough for, uh, for the intersex advocates. And what we're looking for is intersex body variations. And there's been 38 of them described. And collectively, intersex people are about as rare as redheads. So when you're talking about uh... D price basically you're saying that oh. you were you were born hermaphrodite and the doctors gave you medicine that prevented you from be, being the body that you were born well, to be they in operated on me surgically mm. altered okay. my genitals when i was a toddler okay but and, and D to get back to D, what happened was she's in my group 
and, and was getting up in the face of a PhD psychologist who was trying to deliver a paper, running her fucking mad shit about that ghoul, uh, Robert Sapolsky, who's been uh, dissecting gorilla brains and, and, and getting up in her face about, well, you psychologists are full of shit and the neurobiologists, blah, blah, blah. And, and the woman just say, hey, uh, would you please? And I, I did when I tried to moderate and get her to chill, she went off on me. So I bounced her and she went on a vendetta and then she came here to you uh, or she had been a member or something. And when they heard about it, Dark Mage pointed her at all the disinformation about me to you know, make sure she memorized it. And then Sneasel sat her on me. And you know, she's over there like dumb, dumb ass bitch is over there at AMB bragging about how she's doing this job for the Hoffman Group Hobo Interdiction Team. I'm like, well, are you getting paid for this shit, baby? <laughs> yeah, so so D just like follows you around on like Facebook and stuff and, and Everywhere. interferes. I, and, yeah. and, and, and Sneasel too. Sneasel and some idiot named Patrick Kelly. And then there's one that's calling himself Worker X, who I suspect is Big Todd on your board. And yeah. and and these people are just all up in my shit. I post something, they've got it within minutes. And uh, the Hoffman Group is just a, for people who don't know. It's like A and B is just this other like an internet group, but the Hoffman it's Group is is like a. Fucking That's what it is. It's total bullshit. Would would you compare it to to gang stalking, like the Hoffman Group? I would compare the Hoffman Group to a flim flam that they use to uh, uh, just scam people like me. Um, I don't think that Kevin Hoffman actually exists. I don't think that they are actually uh, you know high high level uh, contraband traffickers. I mean, these people are trying to tell me they're in, in, in business with the Sinaloa cartel and. Uh, sex trafficking and all sorts of so what the fuck was it this week? Oh, oh, that's right. I, you know, I, I, I brought up Sinaloa and then uh, Jimmy Webster, also known as Dr. Hugh G. Rexon. Uh, he's, a, he's a cop, New York cop that was retired early for a bad racially motivated shooting. Shot hmm. a black kid in the back while he was sitting in a real chair. Um, really? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's true, but that's the legend. Um, so uh, you mentioned the FBI before and that it went nowhere. Why doesn't the well, FBI the help? The FBI, the re, you know, there's dozens of formal complaints against your board with the FBI. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know 10 of them have put them in there. Um, you know, I don't want to mention their names. I'll just refer to them as, as mothers of transgender children that you guys were stalking. I know they went to the FBI. I know Marissa's been to the FBI. Um, who the fuck else? I don't know, but it, it just, uh, I'd imagine that, uh, Brianna Wu has talked to somebody and told the same thing that I've been told. It's beneath their threshold. They don't have enough manpower. If, I mean, it's, just, it's pretty, it would be pretty easy for the FBI to seize the hardware. It's not out of the country or anything. It would be, but there's, there's no, there's no cause strong enough for them to come and do it. I went to him when I first came into this picture. You know, I'm just an old hippie artist, okay? I've been building computers. I've been building electronic equipment all my life. And they're just, to me, the computer is just a tool of my art. You know, I use the word processor. I use the image, image production tools and broadcasting tools and stuff. I have a fucking office loaded in here. But I don't use it. And and uh, you know, I don't. I, I haven't. I haven't written a fucking line of code since 1974. Fucking thing either fixes itself or it gets reinstalled. Because I'm a hardware integrator. I'm just putting the fucking thing together so I can use it for my job. And uh, I forgot where where I was going with that. We're talking about the FBI and their their causes. Oh, FBI, FBI, right. So here I am. I'm. Uh, I'm getting totally brutalized in the browser wars um, because I have, I, have a, I have a broadband capable local network that was too far from the wire pop 
which all and the wire pop was too far from the first repeater. So I'm looking at at uh, I think it was seven thousand feet, and then fifteen thousand feet, and then thirty five thousand feet to the server farm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you familiar with the the requirements for broadband? Uh, no, I've been to a data center. I've been to a server farm before, but I've never. I think, uh, I, I think they need to be under fifteen thousand. I think it. I think it needs to be under five thousand feet to be good. Okay, yeah, because there's a there's a limitation in fiber optic cable regarding how how far yeah. it can send well, data. You see how close, they have to have that stinking five G three hundred three hundred meters, no more than three hundred meters apart. Yeah. <laughs> it's just blanketing us in fucking radiation. Oh, but it's safe, man. Yeah. So you're a big believer that the the five G stuff is is a health hazard. Um, belief and disbelief is a, is a ter are terms that I don't, I try to avoid using. Mm -hmm. You know, in a scientific method, you know, science is not science is not the same as religion. Right. Because you know, when when one scientist says, "Well, if you if you if you poke if you poke a needle in a basketball, it's gonna deflate." Well, then another scientist comes along and, and, and finds out that it doesn't happen all the time. You dig? Mm -hmm. So we don't need to belabor that. Um, so, so you would say that the, the, the evidence, the data that exists, indicates well, that 5G is... So nothing and everything are just reference points. They can't actually exist. Um, and in science, especially in things like you know, organic chemistry... Um, yeah. you're, you're looking at, in turn, you know, when you put, uh, reagent A, B, and C into a flask, you don't always get it to turn into D. Okay. You know, oh, oh, mix, mix this with this and this, and you get this, right? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Well, there's all sorts of other shit that happens in there too. So you don't just get that end product. You get all sorts of other things that happen when you mix those things together. So instead of belief in the sciences, we look at the probability of truth or falsehood. You know, what's the probability of this being valid? What's the probability of this being invalid? So what was your question? Let me answer it in the most terms. Why? Well, I was, that's a, the 5G question was a, a tangent. Oh, I was the 5G asking. question is 99.9% .9 certain that that shit's dangerous. It was developed for weapons by Israel, and Israel is like not allowing it to be rolled out there. What does that tell you? They don't trust it, obviously. Yeah. Why would I want to trust it if the guys that invented it won't won't install it? Uh, someone asked if you're Jewish. Um, Jewish is a is a, a a problematic term and always has been. Um. The origin of the word Jew, according to my rabbi, who, who, taught, who taught us that we were the children of Israel and practi practicing the Hebrew faith, which is the all one God faith that Abraham learned from the priest Melchizedek when he arrived in Jerusalem, you know, that breaking of the idols thing. Mm -hmm. Well, Hebrew faith, you know, Jews didn't invent the Hebrew faith. Okay. It was there when the Jews arose. And the, the problem with the word Jew goes back to the kingdom of, of Israel when the tribe Judah broke off from the rest of them. And they fucked up so bad the Babylonians conquered everything. So what the Babylonians did was call everybody Jews. So like the only real Jews are the tribe of Judah, and that tribe is Jewish because they fucked up and lost the protection of the Holy Spirit because they didn't obey the mitzvahs. So here we are today. You can be a Zionist Jew. But you cannot be a loyal Hebrew Israelite at the same time.
So would you consider the, the current government of Israel to be illegitimate? The current government of Israel and the current government of, 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 of uh, the United States have never been legitimate. They've, always, the... been, they've always been plutocratic oligarchies covertly operated by the uh, multinational industrial banker gangsters. Always both of them and most of all the rest of them. Any, any of the British colonies, all of them, none of them are legitimate. Call it a fucking dem- democracy. You can't call a, comp- a, a country whose industrial base is ruled by 16 families or 18 families or something like that. You cannot call that democratic. That is an oligarchy. And that's the, that's the situation all over the world. Anywhere they call it a democracy, it's really an oligarchy. There aren't any, you know, I, I don't know of any legitimate governments anymore, except maybe New Zealand. New Zealand. I have a I have a bad history with New Zealand. I don't think I can go there I anymore. Know you did. <laughs> was, was that guy, was that was that dude was that guy a member or did you just have the live stream on the site? No, he was not a member. He um I happened to catch the link to it at like um, immediately after it happened. It was still up on Facebook and I thought, you know, I should download this and re re-upload it. Right. And uh that tend, that that gained a lot of attention because I yeah for... I know I, I watched it I saw it all go down uh, I'm wondering like why was the re what well, yeah I know you didn't want to take it down um because that's the kind of board you run what was their reason for wanting you to take it down um they they felt that it was offensive to the surviving members of the family and community. And on top of that, what really insulted me, I would have been a lot more civil, but the police for New Zealand wanted me to record all the IP addresses of everyone who replied to the thread where the video was. Oh, hey, baby, no, 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 no. You're going to need a warrant, and you come in and do it yourself. Well, I mean, even if they had a warrant, they wouldn't have had authority within the U.S., you know? Well, right. <laughs> but there you <laughs> <coughs> I'm smoking, so I got extra coffee right now. Um, you know that uh, oh, it offends me, shit. Um, and and for them to censor, God, that bother bothers the fuck out of me. I was I was trying to share just a silly little song called the Dickhead Song. Have you ever mm-hmm. heard it? Um. Maybe not off the top of my head. Okay, let me put it on. Your 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 people will like this. Let me put it on. Okay. I tried to say, share this silly little song, and fucking Facebook jumps up with their oh people thought this was offensive, so you can't share it. I said, well, fuck, tell them not to listen to it then. I'll play this in a second uh, when you send it over. But something else happened that Facebook found. Um, either offensive or obscene and they took down and you you celebrated that uh just today i think oh that was like a really validating moment man because i was i was laughing my ass off already because i had gone through so many you know it it took me so long and i i I, I had so many contortions to get like maximum boob and zero zero nipple so i was already laughing and, well, can can you clarify for people what happened? Because I, I haven't said they might not know. You know. I can show as much of my tit as I want, as long as I don't show any nipple. Mm-hmm. And, and it's really weird because it's like female nipple. Male nipples are okay, and and I don't my my female nipples ain't really that big. I mean, it's just like you know, I, I forget what Tanner stage they call it, but it's like about a sophomore in high school kind of boob that I've got right now. And um, I'd, gone th- I'd, I'd gone to all this effort to keep from having my tit and my, my nipple in the picture. And then instantly, I mean, it was like, as soon as I uploaded, bam, come straight back. This is in violation. And uh, so I'm laughing at that. And then I just started to settle down from all the laughing. One of the leading uh, influencers, you know what LO50 is? LO50? No, I don't. 
Well, that's that's the that's the online uh, lesbians over fifty community. Okay. So, so like the main mover and shaker in 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 Tucson, and because like you know we have the you know it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, at least a nationwide social network where they plan local events together in the real world and virtual together virtual events you know intercity virtual events together it's a really cool organization and mm -hmm. nice folks lots of fun folks do you, well, before a, before you go on do you mind if i uh, put the the picture that got deleted up on stream i don't i don't care i don't care okay. what picture i just want to show people cuz they're they're curious i i don't i'm not even looking at the stream right now okay just want to make sure before. You uh, know. I don't see the pic. I don't see anything on the screen. Where, where do I look in the chat? No, no, it's a it's a YouTube thing. I don't see anybody in the chat. Is anybody chatting with you? I'll I'll post the link to the YouTube video so you can look at it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just say hi in the chat to anybody who's there. You know the the stream is being broadcasted on YouTube. It's not uh, through. I see. So what's what's this? What's this? Um, that is that's the link to the the broadcast that people are watching. What's the link that I just clicked on? The YouTube link. That's the link to the live stream. My live stream or yours? Mine. The one right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. You're putting you put the picture up on on, on this, and and and. Uh, it's, it, I have too many tabs open. I need to shut some tabs down. My my my, my browser's blogging. Yeah, well, no, well, I just I just wanted to ask uh, me sure you're okay. You put the picture up on on, on this, and and and. Uh, you may want to close that tab. Uh, it will beat it. I lost it. Son I have too it. many tabs open. I need to shut some tabs down. <laughs> my, my my browser's blogging. Well, you yeah, got You'll have to go. find that tab and close it because I can hear the uh, the stream. You need to either close the YouTube tab or you need to mute the video. Just uh, close out the tab. Okay, got it. Okay, oh, you got no, it. Perfect. Ah, oh, shit. shit. What happened? I can't see the chat. Um, I can post you a link specifically to the chat that will not play the audio. One second. Oh, good. <laughs> Here you go. This should this should be what you need. Or uh, actually, now I lost. Now I lost. I mean, I just got way too many fucking tabs open here. You know, this is this is. You know, they want to tell me, ah, oh, it's just a regular fucking PC desktop. This is a local area network server. <laughs> I got a twenty-four inch screen in front of me. I got like twenty-five tabs open. I don't know where anything is. Okay, there's that. Yeah, click the one that says www, not studio.youtube. That'll show you the chat and you can read along. I don't um, see so anything that says www here yet. It's uh, it's in the, the Zoom chat. Uh, I see hi. I, you know, I see the link that I first clicked and me saying hi. And then you to everyone and that says HTTPS studio. The one below that. Uh, scroll down a little bit. I'll send it again in case. Yeah, you better. I don't see it. I'll send it just to you. And then, um, did you get that? No. Maybe Are I'm you sure? not Private. Are you sure you're sure? Okay. Yeah, and that's the chat. And then uh, when you get that open, I think you left off at the lesbians over 50 uh, Facebook right, group. Or just over a... 50. So what happened was... I'm coming down from all this cracking up, and, and I gotta be careful about laughing too much, you know, especially when 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 people like Sneasel and and them are running a fucking idiot at me, and, and they think I'm angry and I'm, I'm sitting there laughing, um, because when I laugh too much is when I that's when I that's when I get in trouble, uh, for not paying close enough attention to detail. Hi, Ilu. Yeah, right, Nick. Fuck off. Listen. 
I, I, I bought a tower. I'm waiting on, 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 on the upgrade for it. Um, you know, I never could, could hide not Mega Man. I, hello, Struve. I, I can't hide you. <laughs> hello, Shoebox. Thanks, Black Maids. Oh, we love you too. Nice to see you. Um, got, got a lot of fans in the chat. So, okay, you're having to restrain yourself from laughing at uh, the owner I, of this I have group. to do that because that's when I end up, you know, going in a manic break. Um, I, I'll end up spending 15 hours a day at the typewriter laughing. And, and then I'll go outside and end up getting busted for something. Um, I, I, you know, I have my bliss point that I have to pretty much stick to because my, 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 my shit's been fucked up so much by the infant uh, surgery. You know, yeah. I have so many, I have so many behavioral health problems and, and, I, and my, my calmness is on a fucking hair trigger, man. Um, they used to call me mat, rapid, rapid, rapid cycling manic depressive. And so like, no, I'm just being me and responding to the stimuli in the environment and if I'm frightened enough, I'm going to hurt it <laughs> without even asking. Um, and that's not appropriate in, in, in polite society. Um, and here you guys, you know, I'm a two-spirit. And I don't deny my male aspect. But all these fucking assholes are always trying to, like, jam me and, you know, want to bring Tom up. They want to see Tom chimp out. And that's, that's actually, that's so cruel to a person like me because it's the chemicals of that chimp out are hurting me inside. They're, 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 they're harming my organs. They're making me angry like that. Um, You're talking about like the stress hormones and the cortisol and, and stuff. You're all that, that shit. All that yeah. shit. They're, and and they're, get, they're a bunch of schadenfreude junkies getting their rocks off on, 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 on me getting upset. Uh, would then, you You know, then add in the professional cyber terrorists, they're feeding them the misinformation. And, and you know, it's, it's been very difficult um, the last few months that uh, they've been like really intrusive. Um, they show up wherever they can. Um, I can't even keep an account anywhere other than Facebook or YouTube. Uh, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and uh, um, light up at Quora and Medium and uh, Twitter, new, a new, uh, a new uh, generally stupid um, kind of handle. Is um, this just to avoid certain people, or are you getting banned from Twitter? No, well, I, I have to, I have to, I have to be on these sites incognito because I'm marked for the go by the government for interdiction. I'm that dangerous to status quo. Well, you talk to the government all the time, don't you? No. You talk to the, at least the Tucson, the Tucson Police Department a lot. That's not, the police, that's not the government. That's the police department. Um, I don't think you ever finished your story about the uh, the lesbians. Oh, I, yeah, the lesbians. Okay, you know, this is good, Josh. I, I'll be glad to do this with you regularly because I'm not mad at the internet. I'm pissed off that the assholes that are up my ass. No, it's it's just the it's just the name. It's not a uh, indictment against you. No, I understand. You know, I mean, I I want to compliment you for like a lot of maturity since the last time I talked to you. Thank you. Um, is Tommy a secret agent? Um, I no, Tommy's a wide open agent. I, I'm I'm declaring myself generally stupid. Uh, uh, the uh, commandant of the. Uh, uh, space farce of the United States of America. So, I, I, had, I had been calling myself Admiral, Admiral, and the uh, remainder in greed of the provisional government of the United States of America. The, you know, provisional revolutionary government. Because we're at that point, man. Uh, our government has been so boring. Uh, everything was just peachy keen and dandy with the uh, shit until Trump came along and decided he's going to take over for him and his buddies. Okay, you dig what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Well, I, I have my I have my opinions about Trump that aren't positive. Uh, do you feel like he's doing a good job and you want to reelect him, or would you like to see him fucking hung? 
<laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not that far. I just see Trump as someone who probably wanted to do things when he got into office, and then the reality of the position of the presidency not being uh, the end all be all of government set in. And I, I mean, in terms of meeting his promises, I don't think Trump has accomplished anything. No. Did you see that piece of the wall fell over in a hurricane the other day? <laughs> How does, the, the, the wall to a hurricane? Is, did a hurricane hit the, uh, the Gulf of yeah, Texas or something? Hit, hit a, couple of, a couple of sections of that wall took them right down. Well, that's a shame. Uh, oh, the lesbian story. We need to get around to that at some point because I'm, I'm, I'm uh, getting more and more curious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kate, Kate Winslet, um, there. I'm not a communist. I'm a constitutionalist. I'm a radical anarcho-capitalist. Fair trade capitalism and, and, and the United States Constitution and, and the Torah is what I stand on. Fuck you and your communism, you bitch. So the, uh, the lesbian story. Kara Sprouse thinks he's Sneasel's <laughs> Tommy killed the red menace. Based Tommy. Thank you, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, Tom, the reason Tommy is called Crazy Tommy, no, Tommy is the CIA asset. Different. I don't benefit from anything they do with what they get from me. You know, I'm, I'm an unwilling asset of the CIA. Unwilling, uh... uh... How? Uh, I've been under close surveillance since at least 1970. But how are you an asset to the, the CIA? If you're I've been from... under close surveillance since 1970. Nothing coming anywhere near me is safe from uh, being spotted by the spooks. They're watching me from a fucking satellite. I have metal in my face. It's easy to spot me in a crowd. Why do you have fennel in your face? When I smashed it in 1999, they had to screw it back together. What'd you smash it on? Oh, you don't know this story? This is, this is one of the, in 1990, 1990, 1990, you know, 1989 was my Elvis year. And I don't know what to call 1999, but. Um, Elvis year in like, the you know like the height of tommy tudor or alvis year was like yeah that was tommy tudor's big year and 1999 um, was like the the opposite end the, the, opposite. the david hasselhoff end the david the 1999 I, I got cleaned out of everything i owned pretty much um i don't even want to oh boy between between uh the Rainbow Gathering in, in Pennsylvania and the Woodstock Festival in uh, Bethel, New York. I lost pretty much everything I owned. Um, and uh, I limped my way to Austin, Texas. And a fellow named Fonty Fox, who was uh, one of what Rainbow Family calls vocalizers for Austin. Mm -hmm. They call that plumber guy because he was the one that fixed everybody's pipes. And uh, he, he let me stay on his land while I tried to find a place. And my father helped me buy a house, but the only thing that I could afford ended up like right on the fucking dope pipeline in, in uh, Del Valley, just up the road from Mustang Ridge, which is, was like where it comes up out of the valley. Um, the pipeline comes up out of the valley through there. And, oh, the, uh, the oil pipelines do. Huh? The oil pipelines? You're saying that you were right the next to an oil pipeline? The oil pipeline. The, come, coming across the border at Brownsville. Oh, oh okay. So <laughs> you're saying you were in a, like a cartel drug area? Right. Uh, I, had, I had a crack house next door to me. Two meth, two meth labs down the street. So... It got stupid, you know, I lasted 10 years in there, but it just got too stupid. And my father sold the house out from underneath me mm. in 2010, which was my, which was not, 
Yeah, it wasn't 2010 or 20, I forget. Uh, I've lost a year somewhere. I don't know how. Um, yeah. Uh, the uh, what happened was I had a pup that was really stupid, and we went and I, I had gotten this house, and there was a brother that um, had I had you know we had planned on on getting together to do a uh, a, a commune thing out there together. We were going to build a computer camp, you know, a, 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 a cyber, 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 cyber camp in soft buildings kind of thing. It was what he had in mind, teepee camp, computers and teepees. And he didn't have any money. Uh, so he ended up hanging out at, um, I had heard he was at uh, Camp Ben McCullough in uh, Dripping Springs in Hayes County. And that was a uh, former uh, Confederate Army camp. That's a tourist spot now, you know, where they got the rock climbing on it. You know, the, 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 you know how a rivers will carve out, you know. Yeah, rock. a canyon. Yeah. It's more like a gorge here. Mm. Um, yeah, because it, it was uh, it was tributary. You know, so it just kind of cut, cut out a gorge there. But it had Does nice have... rock climbing stuff. And... So he... Oh, okay. You're getting to it. Was... The dog got caught up on a on a on a ledge. I was whining at it, so I, I saw it fall. So I and I knew it was dangerous to climb up there because it's that kind of stuff where it's like it's fucking barely more than mud. And uh, I was real careful, hugging the wall and everything, trying to get to him. And I was just I was almost to where I could grab him, and the ledge crumbled. And I hit my face several times on the cliff coming down. And that broke uh, my jaw in three places and shattered the suborbital, uh, the, the, what's it called? The, it, it, it shattered the bones that hold the eyeball in on, oh, okay. on, my, on the left side. Like uh, so right I, over, right where your eyebrow is? Um. You can see it if you look close. You can see where my chin was popped here. And you can see where it was put back together there and here. Oh, well, if I'm you're not, showing I'm, your video, I can't, I, yeah, I can't see your video. Oh, you can't see my video. Well, mm -hmm. look at my pictures real close at, at my left eye. And you can see real the scars. Close. And you can see, you know, get a good picture of me and look at my left eye close. And you can see it. They did a really good job. Because you can't see it unless you're really looking for it. You can't tell that my face was totally fucking smashed. Thank you, dyslexic. That was the orbital socket. Uh, so, liberals with the bullet to, uh, you know, which means that you're a conservator. You probably live at the summit of stupid mountain. Um, there's no, you know, there's no, there's no cure for stupid, man. There really isn't a cure for stupid. We can quiet it down a little bit by putting a little duct tape over its face. All um, right, so round back to yeah, the burning. I want, you know, next time, you know, they're asked, we'll do it with a live video, unless you can change it now. I can do it right now. Okay, well, let me let me light up my camera, too. Um, I actually have clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, I, I started wearing panties for the first time just because it, it was easier to stand up with the, my, all my junk sticking the panties into my chair. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's pretty, everyone seems to be suffering from the heat wave right now. Oh, well, geez, this is Tucson. You guys are just, you guys aren't even getting up to what we normally get. Yeah. Um, let's see. Share screen. Hot disabled participation screen sharing. What happened there? Uh, it's not share screens oh, got, on the left hand I side. Start the video. I yes. have my video is not running. It won't let me. Cannot start video. Please select another video. Well, I don't have another video camera. Sorry. We'll set it up next time. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll we'll do it. I think what it was was that I connected from the start. Well, I just check. Yeah, that's that's the only camera I've got. Let's see. 
Yeah, I got a nice new camera a little while back. I got a lot. You know, you know how much Logitech nine thousand costs new? Uh, I don't know how much. I don't know. I'm questioning you. I think it's like somewhere in the one twenty to one fifty range. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, maybe. Are Are you? Do you live stream still? I know you. I know you used to live stream, but it's been a while since I've had. I haven't been doing much. I've been doing a little uh, lately. <laughs> um, it's just been so fucked up, man. So Tommy started only fans. No, I don't think so. What do I think about fascism? Well, how do we how do we define fascism? This is important. Fascism is what Mussolini did to Italy, where he and a group of businessmen took over the country, kind of like what 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 Donald Trump is doing. That's fascism. What did Hitler do uh, then? You know, sending Hitler was National Socialism. Okay. Um, and uh, is that better or worse? I don't know. Um, I think National Socialism has a little better chance because that's what's going on in all these social democratic countries. Um, is is National Socialism? You know, it's that the, the people of the country are running the country, which is really pretty much what America was always supposed to be, but it never was. You know, they, they built in all these loopholes for white guys, rich white guys who are Christian or occultists. You know, you know the, the, the nation was founded by a bunch of occultists. Well, we have it on the money, don't we? The, uh -huh. the seals. We have it on the money, don't we? The uh, Masonic right. seals. Well, that's, that's you know, a guy's name, Adam Weishaupt was a, was a contemporary of uh, Rothschild's. Rothschild made his his designs on, uh, on on Jerusalem very very clear in the 1820s. Um, told us what they were going to do and then did it. Um, and uh, in 1923, uh, Zev Jabotinsky came along and wrote something called the Iron Wall Essays. And that's when Zionism became fascist. It was right there in 1923. Um, it was it was from the very beginning, to, you know, the Jews themselves, the people that were faithful to the Hebrew faith, are saying, "No, you can't do that." Here's the three oaths: We are not allowed by tradition. This is not Jewish law; it's tradition. Um, it's a Mishnah, uh, Gemara Mishnah, something like that. Uh, that we are not allowed to return to take over at the expense of the, the Gentiles. It's just forbidden. But God didn't tell Moses that. See, unless God told Moses, it's just tradition. Only the Torah is law. You said um, when you, I mean, you said white people kind of uh, in a negative way, I guess. Do you, you consider yourself, you're, well, you're religiously a Hebrew, but you consider yourself uh, what? Well, you know, this is this is an interesting one. Um, I, I should let me get let me get this this video for you because this is very important. Um, there were indigenous people in Europe. There still are the Sami's in Norway um, or Finland or something, um, and they were white, Caucasian, but they were indigenous. They were tribal people. They were not industrial. You know, you know this fiefdom. This the, you know it's 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 a nation state. As a church state fiefdom, there, you know, it's, the world is divided up into these little blocks of church states, okay? And they're all mm -hmm. competing for world, world control. And what happens, and it has been happening for thousands of years, is that the banker gangsters, the industrialists, uh, Buckminster Fuller identified them as the great pirates that uh, are in control of the trade routes. So they set up a puppet government on, on both ends and like shake things up for some reason or, or, or other, they start a war and profit from it, playing both ends from the middle. And this has been going on forever and this all that the United States has ever been about was these people building a perpetual war machine and, 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 and profiting from the blood, sweat and tears of people that they've committed, convinced to commit mass murder against each other. Do you think that these things uh, protect people like Yawning Sneasel, myself, the forum, anyway? Say what? 
Do you think that uh, all these, any of these things, because the government obviously hasn't taken down the forum, do you think any of these things contribute to the fact that the government has not taken down the forum or arrested Sneasel, myself, and anything like that? It's quite possible that that's, that what you're doing is something that the fascists would like to see. Sure, you're you're doing them a favor by by giving all those artists, you know, all those dissident artists that you're you're stalking, you're doing them a favor. Um, but then, you know, medium is left wing, and they they get away with a lot of shit too. So, what is know, medium? Medium. Like the, yeah, like the Twitter article publishing site. Yeah. What's medium that's offensive? Oh, I don't know, but boy, they shut me down in a week as soon as the Hoffman guy showed up. They sent Grace Candace in there. She asked me four questions, and I answered them uh, very politely and told her, "No, Grace, I'm sorry, I'm not going to play with you trolls like this here." Because I had paid fifty dollars for the, you know, I, I, I figured if I paid fifty dollars, I I'd get some protection for my copyrights. No, nah, didn't even get account protected. Because as soon as the troll showed up, I didn't even have any conflicts with anybody. Just that Grace, you know, hardly anybody was seeing my shit or anything. Grace shows up, asked me four questions. I asked, you know, I, I forget exactly what went down between me and Medium. Next thing I know, I'm getting my my uh, my feedback. And and the next I, I log into Medium and tells me my account's under investigation. Well, what the fuck is it under investigation for? What did I do? Well, all I did was go look at what I posted there, and you'll see what I did. You tell me why I got why I got kicked out. What did you write about? <laughs> oh, an open letter to Donald Trump telling him to resign, and why? I forget what the fuck all I wrote about. I wrote a couple of nice pieces, and. Uh, I, I a lot of uh, interesting comments on other people's shit. Uh, so one of the things mentioned in the, the the PM chain that we had right before we got into a call, uh, Daisy May said that you had been in psych recently. Hello? Uh, I've been under so much stress lately that I was requesting a three-day weekend at, at the hunting farm. If I couldn't get anybody to take me out to the woods, I needed to get, I needed to get away from my studio completely. I was under so much stress, and my environment was going to hell so badly that I needed to get away. And it took me a while. It took me a couple of weeks to get it set up. Um, and what happened... Was they set it up with a with a with a company that some 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 psychiatric hospital? They don't even call them that anymore. They call it behavioral health. How about calling it behavioral modification or uh, behavioral uh, colonization? You know, training somebody to uh, obey <laughs> commands is kind of fucking shit. The whole psychiatric uh, Especially he's gotten itself into us. It's just, oh well, if they don't if they won't behave properly, uh, they don't even wait to see if they can get you to behave properly. They just start you out on drugs. Better living through chemistry, you know. Um, <laughs> so they gave you like anti psych while you were there. No, 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 no. What happened was, uh, and I didn't know this until later. The admitting nurse, my case manager, called called them with the orders which was pretty much i don't know how i don't want I, I haven't seen i haven't seen what she sent in writing but the order should have been like for a three-day break with no drugs and just and and oh i had requested internet access with a moderator you know i wanted i wanted to make sure somebody was watching me so that i didn't get sucked into the internet because that's what i needed to get away from but i i need to be I need to check things every day because, you know, I'm not just, yeah, I'm only at, at, at your site or AMD or at YouTube bleeding about it. And that's just fucking nonsense. So I they didn't grant you it. internet access while you were there? Huh? They didn't grant you internet access while you were there? Well, I never, I never got, I, I never got admitted. I realized well, there, was, there was a problem when like, you know, I mean, right from the beginning, they come and pick me up, and the first thing the guy that's driving just starts asking the fucking safety questions. 
And it's like, nah, man, I'm not even getting in the car with you. <coughs> so the intern from El, El Rio took me over there. And she promised to stay close, but she didn't. Uh, so, so, I mean, yeah. so you had a three-day weekend with this facility, or? I was expecting a three-day weekend at a facility in the foothills. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, um, I discovered that, well, I didn't discover it. They, I just started freaking out because they, they were sitting me in the waiting room too long. And it's like, oh, well, you know, how come, you know, you should have a bed, you know, you should have a room. What's, what's the hang up? And it's getting more and more tense when I realized, okay, I got a problem and I think I don't want to leave. At which point, the nurse came in and said, oh, no, we're going to petition you if you try to do that. I'm like, what? And, and uh, I'm on grounds, and I'm just here for a rest. Turns out that the person taking the, the order over the phone wrote it down as, I'm off my meds, in extreme crisis, and suicidal. Did you say that you were suicidal on the phone? Fuck no. I never talked to them. The, my, my, my case manager was trying to make a reservation for a three-day break that they had very little uh, therapy. You know, no drugs, no forced anything, just our patient needs a place to relax. And that's not how it was written down that, I, you know, that I was in an acute, in a, in acute distress. That's how it got written in suicidal. That's how it got written down. So these people were on alert from the moment they made contact with me, which started getting me upset because I, you know, I can tell when I'm being looked at that way. And uh, I, they finally, I, I, it, it took it took two MHST officers to come out there and and convince them that they needed to let me go. And what it really was was they were selling a seven to day, ten day program. That they never told my my uh, manager about. They you know they had no way to accommodate me for three days because it was seven day minimum, and they never told her that. And then uh, she told them to get you know to, to you know to call them for my records, which they never did. It was totally fucking malpractice all the way around. When you mention your uh, your case manager, was that someone you had just met for this, or is it someone that you knew? No, no, I know her. I've, she she's been on the case for a while now. Is she someone from um, like the the police department, or? No, no, my case manager is El Rio. They have for behavioral health. They have a case okay. manager. Yeah. Was that something that like you uh, you volunteer for? Or is it like a government thing? Oh, I, I'm independent. I, I have no ordered anything from the government. I get I get my social security disability check and do what I want with it. And so uh, I mean, like are you are, are you paying this person or uh, are you paying this person, this case manager, or no, no, it's El Rio Community Health Center is where is where my services are. My primary is there, and the behavioral health services are there. And okay. it, 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 and it's a community clinic. Um, and my coverage is called Access, Amer uh, Arizona Healthcare Containment, Arizona Healthcare Cost Containment System, called Access. And uh, boy, they pay for everything, pretty much. So it's like a Medicare, Medicaid thing, and they. Uh... Right, right. I got Medicare, and they, they're the one, you know, it's, it's a Medicare, Med Medicaid, and instead of calling it Medicaid in Arizona, they call it Access. Okay. Um, so what was happening that week that made you want to check yourself in to a, a hold? Well, it wasn't a week. Fuck, it was from, from the beginning of the year. You know, I'm a, I'm a gonzo journalist. You know what a gonzo journalist is? Um, a gonzo journalist is a journalist who doesn't... Why don't you explain it? I think the easiest way to do it is you know, picture yourself uh, picture yourself as uh, a Hunter Thompson um, at, at a, at a uh, party in the woods with the Hell's Angels. 
Okay. I mean, I, I know that Hunter Thompson like kind of came up with the idea of a gonzo journalist, but it's. Well, I don't know if he came up with it, but they sure he's uh, he's uh, he's the one they described it. I think the easiest way to describe it is that a gonzo journalist writes a story from inside, where the regular journalist is writing it from the perimeter. The gonzo journalist is writing the story from inside the story. The gonzo journalist is part of the story. And these guys, that's why these guys get on me so much uh, when I, you know, it's, hey, you know, you're not honest, look at that, you're just talking about yourself as well, you know, it's, this is my experience related to the story that I'm sharing, you know, with, you know, basically I share news and entertainment media with my commentary and have been doing that for the last 20 years. Um, I've never been able to get anywhere because I've always been like censored and harassed and, and, uh, and, and not been able to dig in anywhere and build an audience. Um, the, uh, you know, Facebook keeps you banned. I'm, I'm blocked there more than I can post. So my, my groups end up doing it while I'm, while I'm blocked. Uh, and, you know, they, they just totally blow my ability to personal and, and business network when they do it for a month. And uh, Twitter won't let me have an account at all. And neither will Quora. And I'm not sure what's going to happen with Medium because they just returned the money back on my account and have never responded to any email explaining what happened. It's weird. I don't know what I'm going to do with Medium at this point. But so Twitter, you've been, just to, to cycle back, you said you were a gonzo journalist. You've been a gonzo journalist for 20, 30 years. Uh, not been able to have much, I guess, financial success with that. And this year something happened with that that kind of led to a problem recently. I don't know what you mean. Well, you said the, the involuntary hole, you said there were a lot of stress. You said that this year, this entire year, has been uh, a big stressor. It's been it was kinda... this year. You know, I, I, haven't, I haven't been on an involuntary hole in years. I'm trying to get... Well, to I I didn't say involuntary. I just said the, the hold the, the when you tried to check yourself in. Uh, it's just been you know this you know I I have a, I have a groove. You know I get up in the morning. I check the news feed. Um, you know I, I read my morning news. Uh, putter through the day because you know I'm doing a lot more than just hanging out on the forums. So I'm in the middle of my studio. I had my, I'm surrounded by my musical instruments. I got the stones behind me. Um, and I just do other things. I like to get out and walk around some. I don't want to be sitting here all day. Um, and uh, I have this group point. And, and uh, you know, I, there's so much stress that I can handle easily where it's constructive. And if it gets to be too much, it starts to hurt and, and, and wear me down. Um, and... Uh, when the COVID thing got added into everything that just was, uh, you know, the daily stupidity, I, I, uh, I coined it. It got so crazy this week. I coined a new term. Uh, it's kaleidoscopic or kaleidoscopic stupidity, where it's just a never ending change and pattern of just one stupid thing after another. It's like, you know, everybody's turned into Florida man or something. Uh, so, I mean, did like, has COVID restricted your ability to like go outside and busk? Because I know you like to busk and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, I still the busking. I, I, uh, I, don't think I, made, I don't think I made $20 busking in, 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 since March. Um, and has that kind of been like the main, the main reason you just kind of like cooped inside? You don't know, have much reason to go outside? Uh, I'm just kind of hoping for like a, a, a recount of events this year. Because again, we we haven't spoken in a while. I, I haven't been keeping track for like the last year. Right. Well, the last you know last last summer around this time was when they were when they were squatting me, like August and September. Um. And uh, so from there, um, my life's pretty been pretty uneventful. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm an old hippie artist. I have I have old friends that I'm jibber jabbering with all the time, all week long. And there's a lot of youngsters that look up to me as their auntie. Um, 
and uh, a lot of idiots that want to challenge me for being smarter than them and tell me that I'm stupid. Where where do you have like the auntie following? Is it like a Facebook none thing of, or none, none of anybody's business. <laughs> Mostly, it's it's it, for the most part, it's young. Uh, it, it's 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 uh, LGBTQ, any kind of any kind of queer kid under twenty, and uh, trans people in early transition over forty. Those are my nieces and nephews. Is this just like a local thing? Like you participate in the community and you know people from that? Well, no. Uh, most of them, most of them, these are most of them. It's internet community. I'm mm. part of the global advocacy network. There's you no know, word. We got suicide watch going all the time over there. When anybody says anything looking at least bit suicidal, there's people come right in and, and try to support her or him. Um, and uh, like I said, I know more about the science of sex and gender than anybody that doesn't have a PhD or MD after their name. I don't know anybody who knows as much as me, not even the old pioneer advocates don't know as much about the science as I do. They know a lot more about the history and, and, and uh, you know, the trials and tribulations, but I've been studying the science all my life. And this is very valuable information for these people that are, you know, constantly having to debate their validity with their fucking neighbors yeah. and the neighbors are sitting there arguing with them standing on shitty scripture interpretations uh, God never mentioned transsexuals or transgender people or homosexual I mean Jesus never mentioned you know it's love everybody it wasn't conditional it's love everybody um, you don't like it don't look leave it alone that's what we're supposed to you don't you know could <laughs> Judge not, you know, let he who is without sin cast the first stone and all that happy shit. You don't like it, don't look. Well, from and, your, your experience with this uh, advocacy network, at what age do you think people are like the most emotionally vulnerable and needing kind of outside help? I don't know if it's age so much as circumstance. You know, it could be any age. Um, it's circumstance much more. Um, the, the research has been very clear that when a, a minor is allowed to socially transition in a supportive environment, all the behavioral health parameters, all these awful behavioral health parameters that are associated with, with transgender people, they disappear. And, and, and the kids, once it, you put a transgender kid into a supportive environment, they end up excelling. That, you know, the, the suicide rate drops back down into the normal range, self-harm rate back in the normal range. Kids get amazing scores on their academic achievement test. Uh, they used to trot me out every year as the smartest boy in the school. It's fucking, I got bullied for being too smart more than I got bullied. I, I, I never got bullied for being too fruity because my family wouldn't let me. I had a wicked laugh. And I, 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 only, got, I only got bullied because I'm intersex. So I couldn't get naked in the gym without getting spotted. And that was, that was, a, that's a, that's a horror for so many of us. Is that fucking high school gym. All them hairy boys wanting to fuck you or beat your bull. And, uh, what was, I don't know. Did we ever, did we ever complete the story about the, uh, the lesbians on, on Facebook? Cause you had, you had some kind of, so. I don't think so. Thanks for getting me back. Cause that was, that was the most hilarious thing in the whole day is this woman was new to the internet and she shared a story from the onion that claimed that Trump had used the, used the federal troops and tear gas to clear the field so that he could throw out the first ball at RFK stadium. So he could, he could throw it. And, and, and she thought she never heard of the onion. And she's like, Oh my fucking God, is this real? <laughs> I can't. So I, I can't believe someone would believe that. There's well, no. There's a lot of people that are you know. There's a lot of people coming online now um, since the COVID thing that have never been on the internet before. 
Um, oh yeah, because everyone's forced online now. You don't you don't have the option. Yeah, everything they got to do, you got to live your life online now. And uh, so, like, there's all these people that have never heard of like the Babylon Bee, or or, or the Onion, or yeah. what's that the British one? I mean, there's a lot of really good spoof sites that do a really good job and make a believable looking satire. And people are always, always, always. I, I, I'll come on a friend's page where he's shared it and they didn't, you know, you know, my, my contemporaries general, you know, we like to let people know if it's old news, you know, I like share a 10 year old story that's rel relevant to what's trending now. That's a real, you know, that's all pop propaganda trick where they'll, 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 you know what I'm talking about? Where they'll, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll bring up something that happened a couple of years ago, just cause it's, right, it's relevant. It, it happened now. Mm -hmm. to get them more more excited about what's going on now um and 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 there's you know a lot of it most of it actually is, is strictly for clickbait um it's very profitable but what i understand they make a lot of money with these these guys that they're doing fake news um, uh, did you get into an argument with this woman who posted uh the onion article oh hell no i i teased her I said, welcome to the internet, Patty. <laughs> mm. uh, no, I, that's, I, li I love lesbians in this town because they're so non-confrontational. You know, nobody, nobody gives anybody any shit. See, I mean, with the, you know, this whole, you know, people that have to, like, come up with a more powerful insult than, than their opponent and then spend fucking hours yelling at each other. You know, what use is that? Um, you know, I'm only hippie. Um, and uh, do you have uh, issues? Nice I'd, I'd rather, I would much rather be like sharing compliments with each other all day long than trying to cut anybody down. Uh, I don't. I, you know, I've worked very hard in the last few weeks to avoid saying things that I don't want people to say to me. Wait, do you have any issues get, like fitting in with like these lesbian groups? Because I've heard from like trans people that the lesbian groups can be really exclusionary. They can. Um, and the trans groups can be exclusionary in their own way. Um, you know, non-binary people had a hard time in uh, Tucson getting any support out of Saga until all the queers, queer people of color ran the whole, the whole board off, took over, ran off all the white people. Like all that fucking shame and blame cancel culture shit. Fuck them. And then, and then, and then the Kiwi farmers get in there. Kiwi and, uh, you know, it's sneezing them. Uh, went, and, went and groomed them, filled them full of bullshit about me being this horrible monster. And then when Lisette Trujillo went, went, finally come back to me, I, I, I contacted Lisette Trujillo and, and said, look, Lisette, this is what's going on. And she's like, oh, you actually got in bed with a minor? And she went nuts. Same thing with J.P. Martin. Oh, you actually got in bed with a minor? Well, hey, uh, it won fucking nothing and nobody got harmed, but the way they, they presented it to them, now all of a sudden I'm a threat to their kids. Um, and it spread all through the community. The 420, the 420 family and Saga all been jibber jabbering to each other about what an awful monster I really am. Yeah, and I, and I know the story is with all that. Uh, speaking of Sneasel, because this is something that was in the conversation chain, I'm going to throw this up on the, the stream. Um, what's the story with this uh, black guy? Uh, oh, oh, look, look, here, it's Millennial Turkeys. That's the idiot with the fucking shitty, uh, shitty Russian accent. I admit to programming people who to hate Tom. If, we're, if I was in that, if, you better watch out because if I'm the next Ted Kaczynski, it's going to be a fucking nuke. That's one of the reasons that they worry about me is that uh, I have certain um, skills in making things go boom. Well, I, I would, I would, uh, 
advise against threatening to bomb the government. That's not usually a good idea. Well, you know, I got a homicidal, potentially homicidal jacket in my in my in, in my jacket, uh, potentially homicidal flag in my jacket, and I never hurt anybody worse than I needed to to get away from them, and uh, blew up anything for anything but fun, and, and you know, no, you know, by you know, blow up little pile, you know, piles of dog shit or something for fun. I, mean, I never blew up a building. The worst thing we ever did was blow up a portable toilet. <laughs> Uh, I mean, do you are you familiar with Ted? Do you know like his book and stuff? Do you find it? Well, I know somebody who who knows Ted. Um, like on the inside I, or before he went to jail? When he when he still had a job, yeah. um, Ted worked for uh, one of my friends' uh, family's farm. I forget who it was too. He just told the story and he tried. To, he tried to share something and it didn't work. The the, the link didn't work. Um, but I'm familiar with the story. I, I you know I'm not in details. I've never read the manifesto. Um, but I know how to make a really big bomb. But I've never done it. Um, I don't even know where to get the, the plutonium. I know where to get the, I know where to get the tools. Uh, but I need to make a sphere. <laughs> But I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know where to get the plutonium. I just know what to do with it if somebody brought it to me, um, which is the problem. You know, it was a problem for them in in in, in Venice when uh, they busted the blue tear lab up in up in uh, up in the Hague, I think it was, and they rescued some stuff and brought it to me, wanting me to finish it off for them, um, and. Uh, they nobody had nobody had the uh, financial resources to buy the equipment I needed to to, to do it, um, so I didn't. Uh, but um, did you think that was like a setup or something? No, this no. kind of work to just be given like material like that. No, it's a family man. This <laughs> that's the way the family works. Uh, I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a rainbow hippie. Uh, um, I'm crazy Tommy. I got you know, I, I didn't get the handle because I'm insane. I got the handle because I'm crazy enough to stand in between the family and the cops. Took a couple of beatings for the family. That's what got me the crazy Tommy again. So uh, we kind of got off on a tangent. I was curious about uh, this black guy who is apparently a drug dealer and you were taking. Please. Go get yourself a map up. Good, good, you got 22nd Street and uh, 4th, 4th Avenue up on your map in Tucson. Just blow it up big. All right, one sec, one sec. Uh, 22nd and 4th Avenue in Tucson, right? Right. Okay, one second. I'll give you the layout of my neighborhood. All right. Uh, tell me if this is accurate. It's right next to the Iglesia Hispana Central de Tucson. I live right across the street from that. Okay. Okay. The, okay. So I'm looking at like a, a Chevron, a Quick Mart, and a. Uh... Uh, right. the The church is uh, at Fifth and 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 Twenty First. Mm-hmm. And. And I live, I live directly across from the church. Uh, if you're looking at Street View, there will be a building there with an orange uh, uh, security fence around it. That's my bad. So, is he like a dealer in the area? What's the What's the story? He appears to me to be one of the distributors. Okay. Because I've seen, I've seen him. You know, I see him in groups. And I see him passing bags. One of the, I, you know, one of the. Uh, and I didn't. I hadn't even paid any attention to it until he until a few weeks ago, um, where he just started getting bolder and bolder and bolder. And a few weeks ago, maybe a couple, three, four weeks ago, I was going to the Santa Rita Plaza, where the laundromat and the Chinese market is. Mm-hmm. So, you see it? And, yeah, it's right next to it. I was walking down the east side of the street with my long lens. Uh, scanning the other side of the street looking for something to shoot. Wasn't really looking at anything in particular. 
And the next thing I know, the guy's up in my face yelling at me for pointing a camera at him. Knock me down. And I had to protect the camera, so I couldn't, like, you know, fight back. I just backpedaled and yelled, get, you know, get away from me, get the fuck away from me, get the fuck away from me. I wasn't taking your picture. Um, well, how'd and, you get this picture of him? What happened was I was pointing the camera at the sun or at the, at the clouds because there was a storm building. I was looking for cloud shots. And he must have walked or ridden or rode his bike across across where I was, but the elevation on the lens was too high to even see him. And next thing I know, he's up in my face, yelling at me about pointing the camera at him again, telling me, oh, he's going to fuck me up and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, fuck. And, and I put the camera down by my belt button, you know, just put it down, you know, hold on. I said, look, man, I'm not pointing this fucking camera at you. I'm trying to take pictures of the clouds. And he's trying to hide his face while I'm like sneaking shots of him. And that one shot came out. So, and you think, I mean, did you have a problem with him beforehand or is it just kind of like no, a spur of the moment? No, I'm just, I'm just, you know, one of the people in the neighborhood that they see often. I don't hang out with anybody. I don't have any hassles with anybody. Sometimes I'll, I'll you know, some of the people that I chit chat a little bit with, uh, I'll bring them stuff. There's another, there's a, a, a Creole two-spirit person out there. I took her, I took her shopping one day. Um, you know, I'll do that kind of stuff, but I never had a problem with anybody. Um, you know, the family spotted me out there, you know, consistently buying in the park and sent sent one of their, one of their, um, I don't know what you call them, um, one of their messengers. <laughs> Providers, one of the providers to me to say, hey, look, you don't have you don't have to score in the park. I'll come and bring it to you. All you have to do is give me the money. So I didn't trust that, but he turned out to be totally fucking reliable. So reliable that one day when he couldn't score for me, he knew that I needed it for medicine. He knows how fucking crazy I get when I don't have it because he comes to the door and I'm shaking. And uh, he left me with uh, a bud of some dank that he had one night when he couldn't score and i mean that's how reliable this guy is and they're, they're, you know they I asked ditch me what it is i'm not sure what the strain is but it's a mostly sense and uh, it's a mostly uh, sativa strain but it's not 100 percent sativa it's not it, it's it's a it's a strain it's a medicinal strain that uh is very nicely grown almost completely without seeds and manicured to where i don't get much lumber either I think I had seven grams of, of lumber and seeds in the quarter pound I just finished. And I get it. Uh, he delivers the door, you know, comes to the door with the quarter pound and once a month, and we're good. And I'm paying forty dollars an ounce for it, which I can afford to smoke as much of it as, as I want without worrying about it. Um, which where I can't, you know, with really good bud, I can't afford to do that. And I, I end up not getting enough uh, cannabinoid in me to do the antipsychotic and mood stabilizing uh, benefit that I need from it. That get up in my face too much and I'm going to start shaking because my, my adrenaline is not being metabolized properly. Um, this is why, this is why I blow like that. It's like, okay, this is going to end. And if I have to hurt you to do it, you know, you need to get the fuck away from me now. You understand me? You need to get the fuck away from me now. And so what happened, uh, with, uh, once uh, you said you got knocked down by this guy, like how did, how did it uh, resolve the, the issue? It didn't. And, uh, I forgot about it until, the other night when he come got in my face and did it again, but this time he didn't touch me. When did you upload this picture? I don't know. Yesterday, maybe. Like on Facebook? Or uh, I don't know where, where you're allowed to post anymore. I'm just curious how yeah, like Daisy May got it. Gary C. Poop in hell, Tommy. Take a 90-day break from dudes and come and clear your head. Have you got a vagina? Uh, he, he, Come sit on my face for 90 days and I won't smoke anything.
Yeah, right. I'm on adrenochrome. Oh, yeah. Someone wanted wanted me to ask you about that. Adrenochrome. Do you know anything about that? Very little. It's, it's um, the, the the hot new meme people yeah, are talking about. I, I I took a look at it, but I don't. I'm not buying into the into the the the, the child trafficking thing. There's that's that's the old blood libel against the Jews, man. Same thing they've been accusing the Jews of since the ninth century. Out of all the conspiracies and to to adopt, you're not going to th- look at the Epstein stuff and say that's that's real. The Trump's even implicated oh, uh, in that Epstein now. Epstein stuff I've looked at, and uh, I, I, the the most plausible explanation to that for me is that he was working for the Mossad, running a honeypot, keeping the keeping all the politicians normal, loyal to to the Zionist state. That's what he was doing. Do you think he killed himself? Huh? Do you think he killed I'm not, himself? I'm not really convinced that he's dead. I think they might have killed a double. That's one of the uh, one of the things I've heard too. And uh, well, they, the rumor was that Maxwell was hiding out in Israel, and they killed a double and smuggled him over there too. Uh, somebody claimed, you know, there was the night, like about six hours before they found him dead, they had taken him out of the cell for some kind of medical appointment. And uh, gosh, the cameras are busted. <laughs> uh, I have to wonder, like, how stupid, you know, you know, a plausible deniability. There, the, it, there's no plausibility to, like, you know, the flying the planes into the building story kind of shit. It's just, it's just, you know, how are people getting, like, sucked into this when the, no, I don't uh, browse the anything the, with the slash anything. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll get, um, oh, I've heard that one, some about Epstein funding Gates. I've heard that one. If you can send, if you want to send some, uh, yeah, send me those links. I'd like to see that. Um, y'all want to, if you haven't heard about David Martin, you want to tune into him. Um, but let's back up a little bit because mm-hmm. you'd ask me about white people. Yeah. And uh, the problem is, you know, first of all, people do not come in white or black. Okay. Mm-hmm. There are no white or black people. We range from like pink to purple. Um, and just to, you know, the whole idea of all these separate races is really just a arbitrary construct of the imperialist colonialism. People all work the same way in, inside. The, the difference between us, between humans, so it's sort of adaptive, you know, that's adaptive radiation of uh, local local populations to, uh, you know, it's it's adapting and you know it's 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 um, they're modifying their, their you know. I wasn't prepared to like talk on this, obviously. Well, don't um, worry about it. We can we can uh, we can uh, go into that. Like if we do it again. About, what it's about is that, that you know, for instance, Africa. Those mm-hmm. are not all Negro people. Okay, there is not one race Negro. Um, there is not one race Red American Indian. Those are hundreds of nations of people that had their own languages. They were all lumped together by the Brits, or the Dutch. Or the Spanish or the Portuguese. Race, you know, race separation is bullshit. We're all one family. We're all one, you know, we're all one species. We all work the same way. The differences between us, the color of your skin depends on the angle of the sun, on where you live, and on the intensity and temperature of the wind. Um, that's why the Inuits are dark skinned. They need the melanin to protect them from the cold of the wind. <coughs> um, and, you know, like the Watusis versus the. <coughs> I just got a lung full of dust. <coughs> this is such a fucking dusty town. <coughs> I'm sitting in front of a fan and it just blew a bunch of dust in my face.
Yeah, you guys need to study your cops. <laughs> that's that's too strong a lung for COPD, boys. That's a strong lung pushing out congestion from the bronchi. <laughs> not from the bronchi from the trachea is what that is. That's not COPD. But you go ahead and you know, like all your Albert Einstein's and 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 you fucking uh, Jonas Socks and Sigmund Freud that. You're all fucking digitally programmed dweebs. You have been dumbed down by learning from a fucking telephone. You're all idiots. And on that note, Josh, you know, you've got mm-hmm. assholes. You know, I mean, look, you know, there's nothing but idiots in there. You got, you got, you got, uh, Whatever. What what is that asshole's name? Millennial turkeys. Oh, I have no know? idea. No. I, he's, he's a flaming fucking asshole. Who is um? Who is Max Power? You mentioned him, and we kind of get a wrap up. Is who? Right here at Max Power is Eddie Clorays. Um. Mm-hmm. Alias. You said that you have him for. Uh... Hey, Tom asked a question. I can't afford it. I what wish. was the question? Why don't you use ed- edibles? Oh. If I could afford it, I would. I, I first of all, it's two hundred dollars for a card. Okay, and now let's 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 look at. You know, I'm paying two dollars a gram. For, you know, not, not even two dollars a gram. Twenty eight. I'm getting twenty eight grams for forty dollars. Okay. I cannot afford. To smoke as much as I do, or, or just consume as much, you know, I need a lot of. I'm not. I'm not smoking to get a buzz. I'm smoking to be able to calm my brain down enough to use it. Big difference. Um. Yeah, so, sure. Uh, Back to answer that. Tom Madera is telling me that Millennial Turkeys is Frederick Collins and lives in the suburbs of Chicago. When I know for a fact I've gotten call from the asshole in New York City. So, uh, just curious, what's uh, the Max Power guy? He said you got him for ripping off media, defaming you. What are you oh, taking that's him a very to court? Complex, long story. How you know this happened ten years ago? This has been going on. Was it culminating this year, or what? What's the revelation with that? I hope so. Uh, I hope I'll be able to get something composed and filed this month. Um. Because if I don't, I really need to like concentrate on my other business through February. Have okay. you filed pro se before? Yeah, I failed both times. That's why you know it's, I got blown out of water both times. Um, and uh, I, uh, I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I need I need to do something this month, or it's going to have to wait until after the after the first of the year, or after the after the gym shows again. No, you're still doing the uh, the the gym stuff, right? You're selling selling rocks. Oh, I, I yeah, I, I that's that's why I've been able to live without the busting money. I've had some good sales with eBay. I turned an opal over that cost me sixty dollars for two hundred and fifty. It's uh, almost midnight here, so I kind of want to wrap up. Um, do you have any any kind of like broad statement, any kind of question for me? Or well, you know, was what I wanted to talk to you about was like cutting a deal with you about giving me control of my forum, and so I don't give a fuck about any idiots in my face. I I, I only see them when I want to. Um, they think I'm reading everything. It's like I, I, I hardly pay any attention to anything uh, that these people are doing, to be honest. Um, on that, you know, what I want to talk to you about was just, you know, give me control of the forum with some mod tools so that I can, you know, bounce them and, and, and delete their shit and, and keep my keep my threads intelligent. I mean, you got some you got some thoughtful people there. Um, that. I'm, you got more thoughtful people there than at AMB. 
let's put it that way. And you're you're you don't have your the trolls are nowhere near as um, difficult to deal with as the AMP because those guys are professionals. That's all military guys. That's cyber war. That that that's a cyber war unit. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. That's a cyber war unit. Well, Sneasel will always called them a bunch of old guys that like. Just talk Sneasel, the dumbass motherfucker. Was that really him? Is that really Sneasel, that, that video of him uh, begging to get in the inner circle? I have no idea. I've never seen it. I'll send it to you. Um, you know, I've had people tell me he's all sorts of shit. Um, best I can guess from my interactions directly with him uh, is he's a recent uh, MBA from uh, U Michigan, Ann Arbor that got fired immediately and is living in his base in his mother's basement trolling full time now who's paying him to do it i don't know um or even if he's getting paid at all because he's living in mommy's basement and doesn't need to be getting paid and he's such a fucking sociopath you know, all the all the schadenfreude rushes he gets from fucking people around is enough for him because he doesn't have he's not have to pay anything to live on because he's living off of mommy well, if you had control over your board, I mean, would you like delete threads? Would you ban people? What, what's the? Uh, I'd do to what, them what they did to me. If I don't like your shit, you're blocked. Well, you can block people on the forum without being a moderator. I can't do anything but put them on ignore. Yeah. On, on, on my, in my, uh, I want to be able to clean out shit posts. I don't want to see the shit post. You know, I, 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 I'm, uh, you know, if you can't, I don't need it. I don't want it. Fuck you and your shit post. Go, go to, go, go, go shit post somewhere where they like that stuff. You know, I, my friends and family are, are nice people who are having cordial conversations about interesting topics. And we don't need to shit post it. We don't allow it in our, on our profiles. Somebody starts shit posting, you know, somebody's friend starts shit posting on another friend. Somebody just lost a friend. Now, which one ended up losing a friend depends on how the person who, who had the mutual friends attack each other responds. You know? how, how about this? What if I made a sub board to your board and I gave no, you total no, power I, over that? I want, I want control over the forum that says Tommy Tudor. Well, if the, the concern was just clearing out posts that were obstructing conversation, wouldn't... Well, you know, I'll tell you what. Um, you know, if there's an admin team for the, you know, so that we have to come to consensus about decisions like that, I'm good with that. But I want it over the whole forum. I, you know, I have a certain uh, uh, ambiance, a atmosphere that I've been trying to create in, in you know, I'm you know, I've been trying to create a nice, intelligent, by you know, by basis space where people can feel safe and talk about whatever they want without people getting personal and stupid and persistent. These people are running around everywhere, hiring other people to teach other people that I'm, you know, that's a pedophile dog fucker. Don't you ever, ever, ever do anything good for that person. Try and get that person killed because that person is a pedophile dog fucker. I don't need that. It's not. It's not doing anything for you, except attracting idiots into your site. Well, I I can't commit to that. But I think if you wanted if you wanted to try something like that, it would be a good test to open a new a uh, new sub forum and just see how that goes, how that plays out. That would be my suggestion. Uh, what I've been doing is just, I, you know, and I had, I have one, in, I have something in composition that's really good uh, on the evolution of, of uh, behavior. Like, uh, are, are you, would you just want like a, I mean, like a blog? I can open you a blog if that's what you would like. No, I want, I want, you know, I want, a, I want a nice forum where people post all different kinds of stuff, but. Not exactly the way you guys have done it. It's, that's just fucking sloppy and shitty. You know, it'd be be like, uh, um, you know, that there'd be there'd be the, the main forum, then sub forum, topical sub forums. 
this is what I want what, what I want to do. Well, you just want your own forum then. Huh? You just well, want your was, own forum. Well, I was hoping to take over 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 the one you'd already built and then just clean it up. Well, I think the people there would probably not want that. Well, who's running it? Who's running the the Tommy Tudor sub forum? Uh, nobody right now. After Tommy, after uh, Yannick Sneasel deleted his account, he was the guy that ran the board. Right now, it's just like uh, no oversight. No oversight. Well, I'll tell you what. Give me, you know, let's make a team to run that forum, and we'll discuss it together on what to do with it. You know, like because there's a lot of stuff in there that is just absolutely untrue. Like, you know, the story of me hounding this YouTuber to death. That's nonsense. That's not what happened. I never hounded her. I asked her to do something for me. She did a shitty job of it. I got on her and and she got on me. And that was the end of it. And six or eight months later, she's dead. And these fucking assholes are blaming it on me. I, I vaguely remember this. I think y- Yawning definitely said that you were a lot more involved than just that. Oh, that's his story. Oh, fuck no. She was just some Looney tune in California that did, made a nice, she made nice uh, uh, PowerPoint presentations. And I asked her to do something specific for uh, Teach Your Children, the you know, Crosby, Stills, and Axel. And I had specific. Uh, images that I wanted in there and she didn't come anywhere near what I asked her to do. And when I asked her to do it again, she's like got a weird nah, 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 nah. and it's like I got upset and then she went ballistic. Um so when after she went ballistic fuck up I I I, I got on her case in a stream and then she she got in my case in a stream and that was pretty much the end of it. And, and it wasn't until six or eight months later that I found out she was dead. But we never had any kind of serious relationship at all. She's just Elizabeth, one of the people that I commented on, on her page and she commented on mine. There was no nothing more than that. And I you know, I admired her work with uh, with PowerPoint and asked her to do something for me and she fucked it up. And the relationship went in the toilet. I, I'm not responsible for driving her to suicide. She's a fucking fruitcake. She was totally fucking nuts. And, and you know, and it's not to blame me for all this stuff, you know. You, you know, I mean, let me let, let, let's let's go back to page one. I mean, the, the whole heading, everything, it's all bullshit. Okay. Well, what what I can do, I can definitely promise you a subboard if you'd want that. Otherwise, I'll have to talk to people. You know, we have the the threads on the forum in the private uh, message area, and we can we can talk about it further there okay well you know this is what i'm proposing is just to leave the forum as it is and uh, i don't even have to be the lead admin you can put somebody with more experience there and that that we you know work together to moderate the forum i'm good with that just leave it as it is and give me people to work with okay um we'll we'll we can talk on the the board i'll open like a a poll we'll see what happens with that see what people well i mean like that's this what i'm proposing is that me and reliable people take over my board and turn it into a nice friendly forum with no fucking shit posting keep it somewhere else we'll ask them nicely to stay away from it and go go do it somewhere else and if they refuse we'll just block you know ban them for the forum all right um is there anything else? 50 pound bag of five hour bills, a lawyer, and a, someone with a, a, a masculine man with a vagina. Healthy masculine man with a vagina. That's my only needs. I, I want people to stop being so stupid toward me and persistent, aggressive, intrusively stupid, like a fucking extra, extra douche sauce and sneezing on them. If why do you think people, why do you think that you specifically are the target of this? That well, kind of... they would like to say that they're strictly doing it because I'm so easy to piss off and that's funny. Um, that's not the way it is. Israel Letman, L-E-P-P-M-A-N at uh, 
is is one of the uh, Kiwi farm or A, A and B. So you, you guys get me confused because the idiots are you know they're real people. Tom Madera is a real person. He's the ringleader of another message board, um, and he's an Air Force Academy um, alumnus and has been flying an intelligence desk for many years. And uh, I guess he must have a fuck up because I don't think he ever got past captain. Yeah, it's kind of really, really pretty pathetic for a for an academy graduate. You know, he must have been real jerk off. Um, I know he didn't make colonel, but I don't even know if he ever made major. Either. I don't I'm trying to think of. I don't. I don't remember seeing oak leaves on his on his uniform. I have to go look at some of the pictures, see what see what the insignia is on it. A uh, picture I used at AMB the other day is an old one when he was in the Middle East. It's, it's him in desert cami uh, and a captain. He's still pretty young. Um, these are real people. Tom Butler works in the in the Department of Defense. Uh, Michael Osborne is the truck driver nomad. Uh, he's a uh, Air Force um, veteran. Uh, that dead out key logger is a guy named Patrick Kelly, who's uh, a Marine veteran. Marine archivist, you know, he's, he's, he's been, the military trained him in internet fuckery. Uh, all of them were trained, in, you know, Tom, Tom Madera, the military trained him in internet fuckery. Uh, I've got hold of the cyber, cyber warfare uh, um, training manual, if anybody likes to see that, I'll be glad to send him a copy. Um, but this is a fucking war zone, man. You know, the, the, you know, a lot of rumors flying around about uh, the Mossad. Uh, you're, you're a Mossad a asset. <laughs> Me? Yeah. What, what involvement do I have with the Mossad? If I have involvement with the Mossad, I really wish they would pay me because I, oh, I would like some more money. That's what the claim is, is that they're financing this. Well, if they want to write me a check, they know where to send it. And I would, I would, if the Mossad is listening right now, I would greatly appreciate the shekels because, uh, right. <laughs> just help, help me out a little bit. It's expensive. Yeah, it's expensive people, being me. They're accused, all these people are accusing me of working for Soros organizations. Like, hey, man, you know, Soros is paying people to do this, and I want mine. <laughs> and Kevin, where's mine? You know, it's, it's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like where's mine you know, oh yeah sure I'm, I'm, I'm one of Soros's pawnings now and, and that's all bullshit too I don't think Soros I don't think that's what Soros is about this is what they want to say he's about because um, he's dangerous to the Rothschild Morgan crowd so that's the thing um, it's, it's money money rules this world remember the song from Cad Ray Money makes the world go round, the world go round, the world go round. You remember that song? Yes. Yeah, well, that's what's up. And it's always been this way. Robert Anton Wilson talked about it uh, in one of his books about secret societies and overlapping, competing conspiracies. You know, <laughs> there'd be three, four different conspiracies competing against each other. Uh, for who gets to win the prize. Um, and it's impossible to you know, break through the, the misinformation, the mountains of misinformation, because it's, it's being generated by three, four different organizations that are trying to like take the other one over. And it's just too nuts. It's just been too nuts. It's just kaleidoscopic stupidity. So I think we all leave it and, and we'll pick it up at another time. Um, yeah, you know, it's I, almost midnight I, here, so I gotta I gotta I cut it you. around here. But I just know that if anything, Sneasel is very glad to have you back because he was very sad when you were uh, friends with Ross and you were getting swatted, and he's he's very happy that you're back. Yeah, yeah. well, um, you know, if he wants to stay out of jail, he's gonna fucking turn over like who swatted me. Well, he thinks it's Ross. Oh, well, thinking isn't you know he doesn't he doesn't know how to think. Well, he, he believes it. He believes he's a, the... he's, he's a binary person. Yes or no, true or false. He doesn't know about yes, no, or maybe. Well, he says he it's Ross. About, huh? He says it's Ross. 
send it to me. It's in the it's in the uh, the PM chain. It's Daisy May saying that. Uh, I think it's Ross. I I'm not in there. I'm not even looking at it right now. Let me All right, back. We'll read through it in a bit because he uh, he points to the fact that once you got away from Ross, the swatting stopped because they were the ones doing it. Was that the clowns that were trying to play me as, as if they were uh, Antifa? I, I don't know the story with that. That's about the time that I stopped following what was happening. But I'm sure if you asked on their board, if that, those are the people. Uh, I'll tell you what, um, you can sure see the difference between like how people feel about me. <laughs> That's crazy. That's just crazy. You know, I, I, I kind of known it for a long time. But I'm the kind of person you meet me and you either love me or hate me intensely. Quickly. Just that way. I've always been that way. All right. Well, I'll talk to you um, again some other time. Okay. Can I can I still access this once we, this once we quit? this stream that we're on right now? Yeah. Yeah, it'll stay up. The chat stream will stay up. Okay. Then I'm mm -hmm. out of here. This has been All a right. good time, and, and, and I appreciate it because you you know. We've never talked this long before respectfully to each other. And I appreciate that. Oh, uh, thank you for the kind words. It's, uh, yeah, it's been fun. All right. Happy day, man. Bye-bye. Yep. Take it easy. All right. Um, that concludes the talk. I've ended the Zoom. Uh, I hope you guys are having a... Very nice Saturday, and I'll see you again probably, probably next Friday, just because stuff is happening. And I didn't realize until after I finished my stream that I completely forgot to uh, talk about low tax at all. So I want to see if I can put something together for that because the whole something awful implosion is like a cultural milestone. Just seeing. How something that really is so strongly defined early internet is now being so thoroughly crushed by the modern climate of the internet is uh, is personally fascinating to me from from my perspective. So uh, yeah, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you later.